In this screencast, we're going to be using an audio action to reduce the volume of a background audio clip. I'm going to be working with the tutorial document, which is available from the Help menu inside of ScreenFlow. When you open the document, you'll notice that at around 3 seconds, the user clicks on the File menu. I'd like to narrate that, so I'm going to add a little bit of audio. You can add the audio by selecting Add Additional Recording. Make sure you're recording only the audio, and then Record. I'll do a sample now. Using the File menu, you can open a new Finder window, and then stop your recording. ScreenFlow drops the media into your document. It's up to you to place it into the timeline. We're going to drop it in at about 3 seconds. Let's have a listen. Using the File menu, you can open a new Finder window. Next, I'm going to drop a music clip directly into my timeline so that it starts at the beginning of the presentation. Now we can listen to our whole presentation. Using the File menu, you can open a new Finder window. What we'd like to do at this point is reduce the audio of the background clip. To do this, let's drag the scrubber to 3 seconds. Now we'll move to the audio properties, and since we've selected our background clip, we can add an audio action. I'm going to grow the left hand side of this audio clip just a little bit, so it tapers off, and I'm going to change the volume down to about 20%. Now let's have a listen. Using the File menu, you can open a new Finder window. 